For a quick recap, Sean was given this 96 Jeep Cherokee by a co-worker and then sold it to Rob, who fell in love with it after a test drive. But the Jeep is still many miles from Rob's house and there are a few things we need to take care of before putting this back on the road. So hopefully for the last time, we all hopped in Sean's car and drove from Maryland back to West Virginia. The Jeep was still right where we left it, although it did have a new coat of dirt and pollen. Rob had already gone and registered the Jeep, so the plates were just waiting to be installed. With those on, we went around and checked some of the fluids. We find that the radiator cap is still very much stuck in place. I don't know, we never got it off. I was too afraid of it. I didn't want to break it. see why. But with some careful application of force, we managed to get it off. Oh yeah! And luckily, the radiator is full of coolant and it looks to be in good condition. And the same goes for the power steering fluid. It's got it. Good enough. It's clearish. However, the brake fluid is quite dark. That looks like dirty engine oil. And you forgot the new brake fluid? Yeah. But the good news is it's in there. I mean, it stops fine. It's just dirty. Worst, worst case scenario is I die on the highway. Uh-huh. <laughs> in a fiery crash. What if? <laughs> it's what if. It's one way to go. Also, we should probably hang up the uh, switch, neutral safety switch that's hanging. Unless you want to drag it on the highway. Yeah, let's not forget that this time. And this? Because we did. We forgot that during two test drives. Oh, I didn't forget it. Of, you did. <laughs> I just didn't think it was a problem. Next, we'll pop open the air filter box and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks like it's actually been changed fairly recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's brand new. All right, start it up, let's go. <laughs> we also installed the universal battery tie down to hold everything in place. And while we're here, we might as well fill the empty windshield washer reservoir. And with that filled up, the next task is changing the oil. Good thing I'm riding back in the dirty vehicle and not the nice vehicle. Mm -hmm. I think there's spiders under here. Make sure you're on the oil pan. Mm -hmm. That looks like, like an oil pan. The transmission. <laughs> Mike, does that look like an oil pan to you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> In his expert opinion, this is an oil pan. Uh, I see some ants over here. Ah. Well, I'm probably gonna wind up with all kinds of things eating my brain. Gosh, oh, ate my brain last time. I don't think I could fit under this though. I got you. Oh god! Uh, <laughs> I don't like this anymore. Anybody want to buy a Jeep? Make sure the drain pan's under it because it isn't right now. And once the oil has been drained, the next step is to remove the oil filter. Unfortunately, we quickly realized this was going to be a problem. I'm either direction. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help that it's covered with dirt. It's just kind of rubbing mm -hmm. off, but. Oh right, I forgot, Mike has long arms, so he doesn't have to do that. It's definitely tight. Good. Like, I'm not having a grip problem, it's just really tight. Yeah. Yeah, <sighs> yep, screwdriver. The filter is seized on there, and we don't have a proper oil filter wrench that can reach it on hand. So we quickly resorted to the barbaric method of hammering a screwdriver through the oil filter. And is the drain pan underneath it? No. <laughs> okay, well... That. And using that as a lever to start unscrewing the filter. There you go. Oh, the desecration. <laughs> Both sides. It's draining now. That's how you drain it. Well, it's let it drain a little bit for a second. <laughs> Definitely Chiffy Lube. Ah, uh, yep. Oh. No, okay. Chiffy Lube doesn't do oil well. filters. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Oh, what? It's tearing, I think. Oh, good, great, awesome. You know what the good news is? Now we can't start the car and drive it, even if we can't finish changing the oil. Mm hmm. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> it's wiggling, yeah. Hey. Got it. Yeah. When in doubt, bigger screwdriver? Yeah. Yeah, pull it out, good. Do it by hand. No. No. <laughs> I hear it like squeaking. I can hear the gasket squeaking in there, like it's turning. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the skin. <laughs> this is the West Virginia way. Mm, feels good too. It's going. It's going. After some trial and error and punching several holes in the oil filter, eventually we turned it enough that it could be unscrewed by hand. <laughs> 
<laughs> you moved it. Yep. Go, it's go, going. Go. Ah. Ah. Jesus. There you oh. go. Okay. Once the oil filter was off, we held it up next to the oil filter the parts store had given us and noticed the problem. Not only do the filters have a different outside diameter, but they actually have different threads, so the new one will definitely not fit on that engine. Which is a problem, considering the old one is a little bit worse for wear, and even if we wanted to, we couldn't just put it back on. So we ran to the nearest store to get the proper parts for the car. Luckily, we were able to find the correct oil filter, and once we lubed the o-ring and pre-filled it with a bit of oil, we reinstalled it onto the engine. Are you sure that's the right size? Yeah. The other one hung, hung over like that too. And finally, we were able to refill the oil on this tired old engine. You do the long pour. Drink. Drink, my child. It's thirsty. Wouldn't you be? While at the store, we also picked up some new brake fluid and a specialty fluid transfer tool. It was two dollars at Walmart. Yeah, this guy is definitely trying to kill us. The whole morning there had been a bit of a storm brewing, but it was around this time that it started to get a little threatening. Got a little bit of air. Maybe it's because there's a brush in there. Oh, I thought it would be a good idea to buy a Jeep from Sean. You're welcome. Thanks, Sean. Things started off with just a little sprinkling of rain. We quickly closed things up and got the tools inside. Well, most of the tools, because it started absolutely pouring. I love cars. This is great. You know, we can sit it's inside so of the car. No, the, well, oh, some, some of us. Seats. <laughs> Shit. Never mind. We could just leave the exhaust here. It's not like we're ever going to use it. We all hid under the hatch of the Jeep hoping the storm would blow over. But pretty soon we realized the rain channels above the door were clogged with dirt and leaves and not exactly keeping the water out of the car. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. I told you it was clogged! You gotta oh no! Open the pathway! Oh! Why would you do that? Oh no! It's too late. It's all over. <laughs> I need to poke it with something. You gotta be a poker. <laughs> it's not slowing down either. <laughs> Admitting defeat, we all ran for shelter and hid inside the house until the storm finished up. Once everything cleared up, Rob and I hopped in the Jeep and Sean in his car so we could drive to a gas station. <laughs> Luckily, even after sitting, one of the batteries still had enough charge to start yeah. the car. Yeah! One of these wipers. Hey! Oh, those were good. How's that? Oh, pull up pressure. Oh, it's got it! Nice! Yeah. We had a moment of concern. Uh oh. Uh oh. God damn it, guys! But then Rob remembered he had to disengage yeah, the no parking brake. so much gas. Yeah. I hate when you guys do that. What, human beings that use the parking brake? Yup, I hate you. Hopefully he realizes I can't keep up with him. It was great to finally have this Jeep driving down the road. The exhaust is a little bit loud, but surprisingly not bad considering the lack of a muffler. We weren't brave enough to drive it with the windows up with no exhaust and some holes in the floor. But luckily there were only a couple raindrops left so we didn't have to get soaking wet. On normal roads, the Jeep seems to drive really well and we don't notice any problems on the way to the gas station. Good. It's fine, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. It doesn't I just told them to keep the RPMs low. Yeah. So we don't run out of gas. Yeah. Some of those hills you gotta kinda like get yeah. it to it, but it's nice. There's definitely a bit of a mess in the back from our bright idea to hide under the hatch in the rain. Mm -hmm. And with the Jeep full of gas, we hit the highway to drive back to Rob's house. Start. 
As soon as we get rolling though, we notice it has a nasty vibration around 60 miles an hour. This is almost definitely due to flat spots in the tires. It's not unbearable or super dangerous feeling, but it's definitely not ideal. The severity decreases a little bit as the drive continues, but the rumble definitely does not go away. But besides that vibration, the drive goes very well. Amazingly, the Jeep seems to work great, and there aren't really any other immediately obvious mechanical problems with it. It's like it was just tired of sitting and wanted to get back to driving. And pretty soon, we head the Jeep back at Rob's house. He's still genuinely excited about it, and that is a feeling worth holding on to. Totally driving. Yeah, totally fine. And it's so easy to just... There, it's done. The conversion is done. <laughs> This is now a trimless Jeep. <laughs> Take the flares off, get bigger flares. Wider. Rob, you missed one. Rob. Rob, you missed one. We hung around outside together until dark, excitedly talking about cars and plans for the future. Oh, and appreciating the clear skies. I'm gonna use the money you gave me for this to buy a Volvo. <laughs> He wants a Volvo yeah. 240. I want a 240 wagon. Yeah, not just any 240. It has to it be has a wagon. It has to be a 240 wagon. <laughs> it does drifts. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to see these on YouTube. Well, you're gonna. Mike, I don't want to see any shots on my butt. No guarantees. I have some graph paper that looks just like your shirt. I know, right? I like Quarter inch. Cool. We need to sketch something. <laughs> We're sitting here like looking at oil filters and Sean's like, but this summer sausage. This sausage is three dollars. Summer sausage? <laughs> Sponsor? <laughs> summer sausage? <laughs> what brand was it?